What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing some top ladder using Royal Giant. So just a few days ago, I made a video on a Royal Giant Skeleton King deck, and as you can see, this is a more traditional variation of RG. I thought it was pretty weak the last couple months, but it turns out it's starting to get pretty good again because I saw a few people in the top 50 and even a couple people in the top 10 using RG or some type of variation of it. So if you're looking for a more free-to-play variation, you could use the Hunter instead of the Archer Queen and the Dark Prince instead of the Royal Ghost. But I prefer using the the uh, Royal Ghost because it's one less elixir and it helps make your cycle better and it gets so much value at sniping things like Teslas, Mortars, and just supporting the RG, I feel like it's a little bit better than the Dark Prince. But it's all preference. Skeletons and Electro Spirit for faster cycle. And of course, Lightning is going to help you take out Archer Queens and Breakthrough Buildings. Before we head in the first game, as always, if you guys would like to support me, you can use my credit code in any Supercell game. Really do appreciate all the support from you guys. And we're currently 215th in the world right now and we'll try to push up even more. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we go in our first match here, and we got Ghost, Fisherman, and our starting hand. Those will probably be our best starting plays. For sure, Ghost is safer because Fisherman in the back first play, I wouldn't really recommend doing that because if your opponent has an Electro Giant, you could lose right then and there because they, of course, would just Electro Giant the bridge and you wouldn't be able to defend. So Mega Minion usually means a beatdown deck. It could be RG, could be Lava Hound, could be Golem. With the Barb Barrel, I'm leaning towards... Okay, probably Golem would be my guess. Lightning, Barb Barrel. So we go Electro Spear here just to deal with the Mega Minion. And thinking about what I want to do here. I'm actually fine going RG at the bridge because since he's using some sort of beatdown deck, it's fine to be a little bit aggressive. He probably didn't expect me to do that, I can tell you that right now. So he's going to go for the Cage. So maybe it's Golem with Cage. There's a very small chance it could be Electro Giant, but... That's pretty unlikely because Electro Giant almost never has Mega Minion in it, but you never know. I mean, I'm not saying it's it's impossible, I just think it's unlikely. So we're going to actually go Queen at the bridge here because you don't want to play it in the back in this matchup because they obviously would just lightning it in the tower. So when you're against something like Electro Giant or Golem, playing it at the bridge is definitely the go-to play because it's going to have to make them defend it and they won't be able to most likely build up a huge you know golem push especially if it's in single elixir because they have to keep spending elixir on that queen so ghost will get a hit here and i think i'm gonna probably drop another rg at the bridge once i'm at 10 just because single i think it's very important on pressuring okay this is a great lightning opportunity so watch what i'm gonna do here we're gonna go electro spirit to put the baby dragon in range of dying to lightning and i actually should have hit the tower with the lightning i did that because i wanted to make sure that i hit the cage but i realized by the time i dropped the lightning the cage already broke so not a great lightning on my end but still it was the right idea we we're able to get a lot of damage and you know can't complain i mean i could have hit the tower but still that was a very very success uh successful push i would say so this time we are gonna have to drop a queen in the back i'll just have to make sure i space out my fisherman so if he decides to pressure here um we could probably defend and it actually is going to be electro giant i didn't think it was going to be but it turns out it is so i don't really know if that was a good electro giant you see he's not able to support it very well i think in this matchup he needs to try to play it in the back i don't really think playing it at the bridge there was great on his end or at least at that specific timing it wasn't that good so now at this point all i really have to do is cycle a little bit you know just maybe get a couple more logs down and a lightning and it should be gg because yeah the lightning does 420 actually wait a minute wait just a second i actually don't think log and lightning does enough Okay, Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it didn't do enough. Okay, that got a little scary there for a second. I'm not going to deny that. I was, I was thinking, okay, I can just lightning log the tower. I'm so glad I didn't do that. I thought I was, I almost threw that game. I, yeah, that, that, that could have been bad. We get 21 trophies. That, that stressed me out so much, all for us just to get 21 trophies. That's kind of unfortunate, but... I'll take it. A win's a win, right? All right, guys. In our next game here against Officer Ramsey. So, 
he's actually, I think, playing RG2. He uses the Skeleton King variation, so different variation than what I'm using, but uh, still RG. So he's going to go Fisherman. He actually go RG in the back, and that is Fisherman's out of cycle. And see what he does. Okay, he's just going to Skeleton King. The only problem is he has Zappies, I'm pretty sure, which are going to get a lot of value against my Lightning, because obviously playing Lightning on Zappies is not really like an optimal play, I guess you could say. Um, he's going to go for the Skeleton King activation. We're just going to go Electro Spirit to try to help take care of the Skeletons there. And yeah, this is going to be a little, a little annoying just because of those Zappies, as I already said. We can definitely still win. I think the key is going to be potentially going RGs when his zappies are out of rotation, but then of course we gotta watch out for the for the fisherman. But I think right now is definitely a good time to go RG because um nah, never mind. We shouldn't when he goes RG in the back. I don't ever like going RG at the bridge. I think when you're ever in an RG versus RG match, it it never hurts to be, you know, the passive player. Um so I'm gonna go okay, he goes for the scare me at the bridge and this is probably gonna be a problem I'm gonna go the electro spirit there um gonna go ghosts and hopefully no we're gonna take a lot of damage yeah this is definitely looking like a pretty difficult matchup because of the skeleton king um we're gonna have to try to go rg here you have to pressure at this point. So that's gonna... Oh, wow, the Mother Witch stayed alive. I thought it was gonna die. We get some solid damage there, though. Quite a lot. I can't complain with that. That's... I'll definitely take that. So pretty aggressive RG coming out of him, I would say, there. Um, I don't know if that's gonna cost him the game. It actually might. That was really aggressive and didn't get much damage. So, Fisherman gonna pull that. He's actually lightning the Zappies, even though it's a 6 for for trade. Um, it's very annoying, so I think it's it's fine. He fireballs that. Get, definitely gonna activate. It might, uh, yeah, it forces a log out of him. So, let's try to pressure here. Um, go Zappies. Hopefully, we could still get some damage. Uh... One hit only from the RG. It's not optimal. He gets one hit. Okay. Gonna activate that there. Go RG, because that was pretty aggressive. He's probably gonna go Zappies. We're gonna get the log down. We're just looking for... Oh, nice. Good log there. Okay, we will be able to get the win in a similar RG deck. Kind of had a little bit of a rocky start and then managed to, you know, get my cycle where I needed it to be. And I guess, you know, you know that was a pretty close game overall. It kind of went back and forth. I... Yeah, just from the start, I thought it was looking kind of bad. I, I... But yeah. Um, also, shout out to Officer, uh, Officer Ramsey. Um... Remy, Remy Rez, uh, he, uh, you know, he streams on Twitch, so if you want to go check him out, you can, good, uh, English content creator, so mini shout out to him, why not, and, uh, yeah, that's gonna put us 175th in the world, but we're gonna try to keep climbing, and I'll see you guys when we find the next match. Okay, and our next game here against Sniper, so, see if this guy wants to make the first play, because I wouldn't, I would rather not make the first play when I have Fisherman, I mean, log is fine, but then even after that, I still have, you know, queen as my next my next card. So I don't know if I exactly want to. Okay, this is fine. Fisherman on the bar barrel. Hopefully, he doesn't have e giant, but e giant usually doesn't use bar barrel. Okay, he's got mega knight. So maybe just mega knight ram rider. I don't know if he has the queen or not. I hope he has the queen actually, because lightning is really really good against the queen. Um, go skeletons here. That's just to make sure the Mega Knight doesn't jump on top of the... Okay, wait, actually, 
this might be time to go RG already, because look at this counter push, and he doesn't have his bar barrel in cycle. So he goes for that snowball there. Um, yeah, that's solid, I would say. We're going to get a couple shots with the RG, and that Inferno Drag can easily be dealt with with Skeletons here. We can just play them low, and I don't think I need to do anything else. Okay, actually, I changed my mind. I am going to go Electro Spirit just because he did go for that bar barrel. And now I'll go Ghost at the bridge because his bar barrel's out of hand. I did let that connect just because I feel like... Ooh, okay, he went Bandit. So he was able to defend the Ghost. Probably not the best, not the best ghost. I should have played it on the bar barrel instead, but it's all right. Go queen here because he's gonna have to magnite on top of it, and then it just allows for a pretty easy defense. I would say because all I have to do is fisherman, and we could actually get the uh, the king activated here, nice and uh, nice and easy. Okay, that's. I'm gonna have to lightning that. That's a little bit of a problem, I would say, but we're fine because even if he pressures with. Ram Rider here, I could obviously Electro Spirit to freeze it and then log. So, see what he does. He's gonna snowball that. Okay, just cycle log. At this point, I don't think he has a lightning. I feel like he would have used it by now. And if he doesn't have a lightning, that's great because my queen will get a lot of value and his will not get as much. Yeah, he's got a poison. So, definitely not the spell he wants in this matchup, but then it'll be great for us. So we just go Electro Spirit here to freeze that, and I think we go RG here for sure. And he's probably, yeah, gonna go for the Ram Rider on defense. Go Fisherman, it's going to uh, pull the Mega Knight. I actually wanted it to pull the Ram Rider, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, but the RG is still getting some solid damage, so I can't complain with that. The Bandit will get some, but... I'm not too concerned about that. I'm honestly more focused on this queen here. I have to go defensive RG. Not an optimal defense, but, you know, it's okay. I, I kind of had to. It sucks, but it is what it is. It's better than losing my whole tower, obviously, to the queen. And at least now I have my own that he has to go for a Mega Knight on top of. So we'll go ahead and activate the ability right now. And that Ram Rider, I don't know. Is it going to sneak in front of the Mega Knight. Yeah, it does. So that's going to make the defense a bit easier, I would say. So definitely time to go RG. We have Electro Spirit ready for the Inferno Drag, but I guess he's not going to play it. He first is going to go Ram Rider, and then he goes for the Inferno Drag. So that was actually pretty good defense on his end. I thought I was going to take the tower right then and there, but he stays alive. Do I get the skeletons down in time? Good, just in time. That, that got a little scary. If that locked on the tower, I could have been in a lot of trouble. So we could actually log the queen back, and that's going to push it into lightning range. And now all I have to do is cycle back to another lightning, which I'm going to be able to do really, really easily because um, he just played the Mega Knight, so he won't have the time to build the push he needs to, and that is going to be GG. We get the win there. I would say a pretty good matchup overall because he had poison instead of lightning, so my queen just got a ridiculous amount of value, and his, on the other hand, didn't get as much. So let's see where that puts us. That's going to put us 150th in the world, 78.55. Um, not quite at my season high. It's three trophies below. And yeah, guys, next video, maybe I'll get 8K. I'm not sure what deck I'll use yet. Maybe Mega Knight Ram Router, maybe this, maybe Electro Giant. I don't really know, but... um. Yeah, my next video, you can plan on me pushing to 8k. That, that at least is the goal. This video, I don't think I'm going to quite get it, but, I mean, I don't know. But uh, Probably not, to be honest. Okay, in our next game here against Sandbox. So he's quite a bit higher than us, which means if we do end up winning here, it'll, of course, be good because we would get a good amount of trophies. Well, not like an insane amount, like plus 42 or something like that, but I think we'd get at least 37 or 38. So we'll try to do our best here to win. Just cycle Skeletons right now and see what he wants to do. We'll go log. He's not going to do anything. Um, Sandbox is pretty good with a lot of different things, but typically I would say he likes using RG, he likes using Graveyard, and he likes using... Oh! Was not expecting that to happen. Sadly, I do think he's going to be able to take the tower pretty easily here because he's up a lot of elixir. 
So what I'm guessing he's going to do is he's going to go RG at the bridge. And then with that fisherman... Well, wait a minute. That fisherman didn't end up pulling the back. Okay, so we're still in a good situation. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're fine, actually. Okay. I was pretty certain he was going to be able to take my tower. I thought he was going to wait to play the fisherman until I went for the ghost, but instead he played it right away, which allowed me to play ghost immediately and help DPS down that RG. So, incredible start. Um, I'm very surprised that happened. We can RG in the back. Um, chances are... Now I'm going to have to just give him it because, yeah, yeah, so that's fine because now he doesn't have as much answers to defend uh, the RG now because he just used the queen, obviously, on offense. We're going to get a nice little lightning right here, and yeah, that's going to be very helpful. Fisherman is targeting the wrong thing. That is also really clutch. Skeletons are DPS dpsing down that fisherman yeah things are still looking great for us um i feel like at this point you know we, we should be able to get the win unless i throw the game somehow rg fisherman in the pocket is a really op combo by the way uh we're gonna go skeletons here for distraction we just gotta watch out a little bit um i mean yeah i think he, he's not gonna take the tower look at the king tower even if he did take my tower We'd still be in a great situation. Um, and actually, he might take it because I can't defend an RG in the pocket here. Yeah, he's going to go for it. But we have Skeletons ready, so he's unable to Fisherman the RG away. Um, we can go Electro Spirit here just to freeze that Fisherman. And that should be GG. We just have to Lightning Log. Really good effort on his end because that was a huge mistake coming out from him at the very beginning of the game. And, you know, we obviously capitalized off of that. Pretty unfortunate that that ended up happening, but... You know, like, obviously, when you're playing, like, top ladder, like, one mistake and you'll lose the game. So, I'll take it. Plus 37 against Sandbox, another really good player. He, his best finish is actually fifth, too, so he's a pretty good um, ladder player, and he's consistently high up. Like, I often see him number one, like, so often, uh, especially beginning of the season. So, that is going to put us now 146th, um, and there was actually a loss I didn't show against Golem, because I, I don't know, I thought, I thought it was just pretty boring. Um, I kind of got starting handed, and... But if I lose again, I'll definitely show it. And yeah, I'd say we'll probably play one or two more games. Okay, here we go. In potentially our final match here against Milton. So go ahead and give him good luck. And cycle skeletons, because why not? And then we can go Electro Spirit at the bridge. I don't care if he activates King, because I'm using our G as a win condition. So who cares? Go Queen for the Dark Prince. Dark Prince. Hmm. I mean, I would assume Giant Double Prince, but I just feel like it isn't for some reason, because I played against this guy before, and... I don't exactly remember him having Giant Double Prince, and as you can see, it's something else. I don't remember what. It, it might be Balloon, but... Oh, no. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and kite this with an RG. Should be good. Oh, what? He's got a Tornado? <laughs> no. I guess Skeleton's here. And then we should be fine. As you can see, it's going to be a nice little kite there on that Inferno Drag. Okay, so P.E.K.K.A. Inferno Drag, two things that I would say are pretty good against RG. Luckily, we do have Electro Spirit and Lightning to reset the Inferno Drag. But with that being said, I still think it's going to get a solid amount of value just because it is only for Elixir. And yeah, I think he's using Graveyard. I don't know for... yeah, I... I well, actually, I don't know. It could be Balloon. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. So we'll just go for the Queen activation here. He's just going to... Okay, he's going to freeze that. Yeah, I'm guessing Graveyard just because... I don't know. I Actually, I really don't know. We'll, we'll find out soon enough, though. Go Ghost here. Just goes for an Electro Spirit. Hmm... I guess we can RG, because we can pull away the P.E.K.K.A. with the Fisherman. Oops, I played it. Oh, no. I think that's GG, unfortunately. Wait a second, that was a bad tornado on his end. He accidentally... I, I don't know what he was doing. I think he he played the tornado a little bit late, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what happened exactly. So that tornado might have just saved me. Yeah, so we don't know for sure yet 
but I, I think it's Graveyard. This is going to be a nice lightning opportunity. It's going to give me a lot of value with that lightning. However, this... Oh, actually, we defended the Graveyard pretty nicely. Wow. <sighs> so far, so good. Go ahead and pop the Queen ability here. Oh wow, that's aggressive, that P.E.K.K.A. It might work out for him. I'm just saying it was aggressive. Oh no, that died. Yeah, uh, we're in a bit of trouble right now, I'd say. Luckily the Fisherman is going to pull. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. That is big time damage right there. Oh no. I think that might be GG, sadly. See what happens, but I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Let's pressure with a ghost just to make sure he has to defend and he can't just apply pressure. No, yeah, GG, GG. Alright, so I would say kind of tough because... Pekka in in front of drag, and then also the uh, the graveyard can be a little tricky to defend sometimes, but, you know, he played it well, he made it work, so I can't complain, and, I mean, props to him for having success with that deck, first of all, because that is, you know, quite frankly, pretty off meta, so, I mean, he's the only person I know, you know, using something like that. Actually, I think there's one other person, a Japanese player, but it's a different variant than that, so, um, you know. Is what it is and we end the video still in the uh, top 200 so not a uh, complete fail and we're higher than i think slightly higher than where i started the video so yeah pretty good i'd say it looks like rg is back in the meta you know potentially maybe it is what i'm gonna use you know to finish out the season we'll see i mean if it's not this it's probably gonna be that mega knight ram deck maybe electro giant you know we'll have to see if the meta shifts because it does feel like it shifted a little bit because i'm telling you guys this deck like a few weeks ago, it was not great in the meta, but it seems like it's back. But anyway, make sure you like to uh, like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already. And thanks again. Until next time, guys.